Thank you, Stephen. Now to accusations of unprofessional behavior, favoritism, and retaliation, all emerging from the top of Bear County government. If the top is the one that's driving it, as you have some of these memorandum and things of that nature, then the problem is, is that you really don't have an open door policy. In this Defender's report, county employees say they have had enough and are exposing the inappropriate conduct through complaints filed internally with the federal government and now as part of a months long investigation by the night team's Dylan Collier. It looks like a typical county memo. It carries the official seal and was written by County Manager David Smith in late 2016. And at first glance, appears to be a standard reminder to budget employees to follow proper policies and procedures. But by the time it gets to the third paragraph, it's taken a bizarre turn into what some employees described as religiously intolerant territory. Referencing the attached picture of a county staff member posing inside a recreation of the historic Rose Window at Mission San Jose, Smith directs all employees to attend Mass at San Jose and receive absolution, the ritual by which Catholics are freed from sin. Budget analyst Alexandria Milan became aware of the letter shortly after she was hired in early 2017. She was not amused by it. You're mocking Catholicism, like you're making it as to be a joke. Smith did not respond to repeated requests from the defenders to talk about the memo or why he wrote it. A county spokeswoman said Smith missed last week's commissioner's court meeting after going home the day before with an injury. We've still yet to hear from him. Milan had an up-close view of another inappropriate act in the spring of 2018 when she and other staff members posed for a picture at this interactive kiosk outside the Justice Center. Two of her co-workers, identified as Tanya Gaitan and Jasmine Leone, decided to flip off the camera. That move drew this reaction from Judge Nelson Wolf. It's very inappropriate, I'll tell you that. Very inappropriate. I saw what they were doing, so I kind of pulled myself away. You would think that county employees flipping the bird at a county-owned camera would be grounds for serious discipline. But that wasn't the case here. In fact, the duo wasn't disciplined at all. Assistant County Manager Tina Smith-Dean was well aware of the picture. On an email chain forwarding it, Smith-Dean replied, was this Friday at lunch? That seems to be the okay actions that go around, but I was hoping she was going to say, you know, this is something that's inappropriate. You shouldn't be passing these pictures along. Two sources have also provided identical copies of this email titled Angel in a Box that they claim Smith Dean forwarded in 2011. After looking at a sleeping baby, readers scroll down and find an obese, naked man stuffed inside of a box. Even though five county staff members were forwarded the message, the county now claims it cannot authenticate whether Smith Dean ever sent it, since they could not locate it on their server. Multiple county staff members who spoke with the defenders on the condition of anonymity have also taken offense to Smith Dean referring to this portable hard drive as, quote, the maxi pad, apparently comparing it to a female sanitary napkin based on its color. We asked Smith Dean for comment on all of these claims, but she declined to say anything. Last fall, Milan filed two federal work complaints against the county, the first based on how she's treated at work specifically being forced by Smith Dean to clock in while other staff members can come and go as they please. And a second for retaliation after Smith Dean and another supervisor wrote her up after filing the first complaint. Jason J. Jacob is Milan's attorney. It's a behavior, it's a culture where it, it appears you've got where somebody can do something as far as like, oh, I can show up late for work, I can be there 15 minutes late for work, but somebody else can't. Sources say in December, an outside firm, Kelmar Global Investigations, was brought in to examine complaints from the county manager's office, including harassment and bullying allegations against Smith Dean in particular, filed by a longtime female employee. One source said more than 20 employees have already been questioned by the firm, including Milan. To say something is to know that you are going to be retaliated against. Are you able to say that their concerns will be heard effectively? Well, yeah. I mean, anybody's welcome to come to the commissioner's court anytime they want to and lodge a complaint, although I've not heard those. For the defenders, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News. Now, late Friday afternoon, Bear County Manager David Smith sent the defenders a statement saying the 2016 memo that mentioned absolution 
was not meant to be taken seriously and was not an official communication. Smith also claims no complaints were filed about any communication sent in 2011. And the statement says the employees in our story are, quote, loyal, long-term, and dedicated to public service.